Hello loves, this is M. Rain, your Magical Mystic, aka Lucretia Hayes. Um, today I want to just have a really brief moment to speak to you guys on something that's really close to my heart. Um, and it's kind of unfortunate that a video like this even has to be done, and especially for YouTube, but it needs to be done specifically for YouTube as well as Facebook. So with all of this new information coming out and we're learning different things every day, it's really exciting to, to get out here and, and to experience all this new knowledge that seemingly has been hidden from us for eons, right? But the reality is there are also others who enjoy muddying the waters with things that are not true, that are literally figments of unhealed imaginations. And it flows so easily into the whole conspiracy theory and fake news. Now, here's the reality. Some people claim fake news when it's actually true. Um, some conspiracy theories aren't theories at all. They're actually facts. Um, but most of what you have been uh, um, exposed to, especially here recently, is indeed um, things that are distractive and divisive, and they don't actually add any value to your life. One of the things that um, has helped me on this path and on this journey is that I sought to know what would actually increase um, my wisdom and knowledge, what would increase the value of my life, my well-being, my self-worth, I wasn't seeking out the things to make me angry and I wasn't seeking out the things to make me, uh, to, to put a, you know, a square peg up my, my ass, you know, or <laughs> whatever. I was looking for knowledge that would ground me and give me wings also at the same time. I wanted to be like a tree planted by a river of water, right? Bringing forth my fruit in season, you know, never having to worry about withering or whatever. And so for a while, like everybody else, I was over there with Pizza Gate and this gate and that gate and all these different conspiracy theories. But here was the reality. The argument of whether the earth is flat or round, my question was, how does that affect my 3D reality right now, as well as my peace of mind and my overall soul satisfaction, right? It didn't. Wasted time. Do you know that a lot of the people who give themselves to this teaching and to this information have financial problems, health problems, many of them mental problems, many of the people who are teaching a lot of this stuff are mentally unstable and it shows because they literally are peddling fear. They're force feeding fear in everything that they do. Oh, your kids are in danger. Your husband is in danger. All women are in danger. If you're black, you're in danger. If you're white, you're in danger. If you're poor, you're in danger. If you're rich, you're in danger. It's just like everybody's in danger throughout some part of this teaching. I don't believe that I took up a body or incarnated to be afraid of everything. I don't believe you did either. I believe that the truth of the matter is that yes, anybody could be in danger. Yes, all types of things go on, but it does me no good to fall into a space of fearfulness and to operate from that space. It makes me food. It makes me energetic food. Do you know, one? because I'm not greatly loved always in the circle of mysticism and magic, okay? Because I am exactly a, a thumb just sticking out to the side, you know what I mean? I'm just not with all of the bull crap that, that is often taught. And so I teach people to ground and root themselves in knowledge and information, study, ask questions. Don't just take anybody's word for it, not mine, not anyone else's. Study for yourself. Check what you're getting against what feels good to your soul. And a lot of people want to keep you outside of yourself because that makes it easy to turn you into food, basically. To turn you into merchandise. Okay? People who try to make you afraid of magic generally have been made afraid of magic. But also there are others who want you to see them as some superhero who dares to deal with demons and deal with angels and deal with all these spirits who can just snatch your soul out of your body in one fell swoop and take you off. You can't do it because you hadn't been through all these initiations that prepare you, but I can do it for you for the small fee of X, Y, Z, and Z. Am I talking about everybody? No, I do 
rituals and spells and all that kind of thing for people. I make products and all of this. But even in the midst of me doing that, I maintain my integrity by allowing people to realize, yes, you could buy my oils or you can make your own. That's an option. You could buy my uh, body butters. You could buy my fragrances. You could buy my bath sauce or you can make your own. That's always an option. I don't want to I don't want to make people feel like, oh, you can't make oils because you could mess something up. No, it's not the truth. Okay? And you have to be careful of people who tell you, you know, watch for your ancestors. You need somebody to help guide you through. Why would I need someone to stand in between me and myself? Because my ancestors are literally previous versions of me. They are me. They're in me. I am the embodiment and the culmination of everything that came before me. I can't even be separated from my ancestors, not the good ones, not the bad ones, not the, the middle ground, mundane ones. Regardless of what came before me, I am all that. That's why it doesn't make sense for you to let people tell you, oh, I wouldn't mess with that one because you know they was just sick. They was just sick. But that sickness is in you, okay? Because everything that came before you is in you. Okay, so if you don't like the sickness, if you don't like the betrayals and all the shit that was in your family prior to, what you do is take a moment, stand in the power as the ambassador of your bloodline, and then begin to purge that stuff that doesn't serve the bloodline as a whole. I'm just, I ain't gonna put them on my altar or them on my altar or them on my altar. They're not just ghosts. They are genetic pieces of your makeup. But people like to make you uh, think that magic and science are different. Magic is high science. It's science that science hasn't figured out how to explain yet or quantify well enough to have a control system in place to be able to recreate because they're trying to do it all digitally and they, have, they lack some of the formula that will get you there, right? Whereas witches and mystics and things like us, we do this thing and we're spiritually guided. Science is trying to prove it without the understanding that all is connected and that that is a consciousness, right? The other thing they try to do is make you afraid of mirrors. They want you to be afraid of certain energies. They want you to believe that demons are one thing and angels are another. They're the same thing, okay? They're just energies. There is no such thing as a good energy and a bad energy or evil energy. Energy is just what it is. And all energy is has the ability to be both uh, good or baneful, just like you do. You're not just a good person. You ain't no horrible person either. You're just a person. You're just an energy. You have your own agendas and desires, just like all other energies. If you guys are interested in, in teaching from someone who's not interested in making you an eternal student and taking all the money out your pocket and making you afraid to breathe and have a good ass life, I'm always available. Okay? You can visit the website magicalmystic.com. That's M A G I C K A L mystic.com. You can visit my website mrain.com. You can check us out on Facebook, M Rain Official. Um, or you can hit me up on either of my M Rain pages or my Lucretia Hayes page, right? You can hit me up on Instagram, but I do have an apprenticeship. Now, to study with me is $12,000 for a first year, okay? Um, that's $1,000 a month. But if you connect with the Alchemist Foundation, you maybe can get some assistance with that fee. I also have coaching and sessions and different things like that for wealth, for spirituality, for personal issues or whatever. Again, you feel free to go to my Magical Mystic website and check out what all is there. But beyond all that, study for yourself. To be uh, filled with knowledge that has not been stained by another person's fears or, or um, ideologies is to be armed. You want to learn to invest in yourself, including your time and how you study. Don't just get in the habit of letting people tell you anything. I said something on Facebook one time. I said, if you let some people, they'll tell you that your ass is blue and your face is purple or red or purple, whatever colors I use. They will if you let them. You got to know self and you got to know what knowledge feels good to self. You're not here to collect a bunch of useless knowledge that takes you down the ladder of evolution. You're here to go up and I want to help. So 
I enjoyed this. You guys have a great day. I love you. Mwah.